The mountain bike is an all-terrain type of bike. It is used for biking off the road. Mountain bikes have slight modifications that enable them to thrive in bad terrains. These features make them last, even longer than the normal bicycle. Some of these features are full front suspensions, knobby tires, low gear ratios, and durable wheels. Knobby tires are off-the-road tires that have deep threads. This helps then navigate tough terrains without pressure. The specialty terrain of a mountain bike is the single track. The mountain bikes can also be used on fire roads. Fire roads have more allowance than the single track. They are also good for rough surfaces. The common characteristics of these roads are loose dirt, rocks, stones, stumps, and steep terrain. The first mountain bicycle was a tweak of the cruiser bicycles. They were used in freewheeling as the rider goes down steep or mountainous terrain. Freewheeling gained popularity in America during the 1970s the bikers used old and speedy balloon tire bikes to go down rough hillsides. These modified bicycles are known as the ballooners in Marin County, California. They were called the clunker in Colorado and dirt bombers in Orlando. Bike frame maker Joe Breeze was inspired by these to make the first mountain bicycle. Bike companies didn't catch on the wave until the end of the 1970s. They started producing the bikes using high-quality and low-weight substances like the aluminum called the M4. The Pioneer Mountain Bicycle was made by the company, Lawal Procruiser in 1979. The outline of the frame was patterned after the one that Koski Don made. He made them from electronic conduits. He also added the Schwinn Varsity shape. Lawal Mert paid Knight Terry in Oakland to make the bike frames. When the mountain bike was first mass-produced, it was called a specialized stump jumper. The mountain bicycle could be placed in three major classes based on the configuration of their suspension. The classes are the rigid bike, the hard trail bike, and full suspension bike. The rigid mountain bicycle has huge tires with deep threads. It also has a straight handlebar. It however does not have front or back suspension. This mountain bicycle has a suspension fork for the front wheel. The full suspension bike is also called a dual suspension. It has a suspension for both the front and back wheels. The suspension in the front looks like a telescopic fork just like the motorcycle. The back wheels have mechanical linkage and shock absorbing components. Mountain bikes can be classified based on the terrains they fit. And these are. All mountain bikes. Their weights are usually 13 to 16 pounds. They are better for longer suspension travel and can ascend or descend well on steep terrains. It is suitable to be used anywhere hence the name All Mountain Terrain. It is also called the Enduro Mountain Bicycle. Cross-country bikes are popularly known as the XC bikes. They are built just for cross-country races. They are light, efficient and good at climbing speedily. The cross-country is meant for the off-road, but they are not suitable for rugged terrains. The head angles of the downhill bike are low so that the rider is at comfort going downhill the bikes, just as their names suggest, are suitable for only downhill riding. Freeride mountain bikes are like downhill bicycles. They're known for strength and are suitable for bike stunts. Dirt jumping bikes are the best bikes to maneuver on any terrain. They have low seats and huge handlebars. The dirt jumpers don't have front brakes, allowing the handlebars to spin without entangling with the brake cables. Slope-style bikes are used by professional riders a lot. They are made for competitions, owing to their speed and ability to jump high. Trial mountain bikes are made just for testing bicycles. They are the lightest. Single-speed mountain bikes are strong, made of steel, and can be used by a fit individual for short and medium distance rides. North Shore bikes look like freeride bicycles. They are maneuverable and lightweight. The mountain bicycles have between 7 to 27 speeds. The most important parts of the bike are the tube's head angle and the seat tube's angle. Together, they affect how the rider sits or how the bike performs. Mountain bikes were the first to have and make suspensions popular. Mountain bikes have disc brakes that make braking accurate but make bikes heavier and costlier. Mountain bike tires are knobby and tubeless. They also perform better than tube tires. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. 
Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details and visit our site www.zimbike.com for more awesome bicycle content like this.